viral, and when it comes to calling cards, it doesn't get much more notable than Anthony Davis's unibrow. I mean, his nickname is The Brow, but maybe not much longer. So Davis released a poll on Twitter asking if he should, in fact, shave the unibrow. Right now, yes, is just barely winning, but still winning. So, Cece, you've been very, let's say, passionate about this in the past. I'm just curious how you would vote. What are you doing? Vote. <laughs> Oh, this is the weather guy. Uh, there you go. Now, how's that look? Y'all want to do a show with me? What? Does that look marketable? <laughs> no, it doesn't look good on you. No, I, I, I mean, I got the people at European Wax set up. We can get a national deal. Forget the poll. Man, this is about some money and some groom. Look at this. This is what I would look like. And also, not only do you get... Oh, oh check you out. So yeah, there, there, there we go. T. Oh, Unibrow. There we go. That is so unattractive. <laughs> uh, I'm with CC, no. man. I, I get rid what? of it. What? Yeah. Get yeah. rid of it? Yes. Grooming. Yes. I'm, is that what it, you it want us to look like? Would you want a Unibrow? I, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question about you since you personalized it to me. Should I get my nose fixed? Or is it at this point part of nah, like? A, it's a little different. I don't. How a is lot it? of people got? Hey, hey now. Noses. Hey now, that's on the board now. <laughs> hey, don't be. I'm a guest. I don't want to be honest. No, about listen. About that. Jenna's, Jenna's um, brother. He's got a friend. Uh, uh, he is the friend. Oh, we don't want him to do it because oh, Nick, you, you know, he'll, yeah, we get one of his friends to do it. <laughs> you know, yeah. Anthony Davis, stay strong. Don't listen to peer pressure from Chris no, Carter. He, he it must, looks he good must on be you. He must be considering it himself. He can't do it. It's all right. I'm not going to kill him if you No one it, looks on. good with one, Nick. I would just. Nick, just look it. at yourself again. I understand that, but I didn't make it part of my signature from the moment Man, I. You know what his signature is, Nick? What? His oh, game. Thank you. His game. His game. You got to move on. Otherwise, this is going to be all we're getting from Chris Broussard. Right. Thanks for weighing in. Right. Uh, let's we'll talk move about the nose later. To Kevin Durant. Let's not. You know, when you get a unibrow, you got hair like hair like that on your ears, too. Kevin Durant <laughs> is expected to return to the lineup for the Warriors tonight. I know that because it's Thursday. And, uh, and you know, he says he's returning on Thursday. But even when he's not playing, he's still making headlines. KD joined Bill Simmons' podcast to prove that while he might have retired the burner accounts, he's still very much on the defensive. Here's what he has to say to Simmons. All your blog boys and your fan boys, that's going to use everything I say and create an article. Watch a basketball game. How about you write that? I just want to say that because all these guys are going to write articles and get real mad about what I said tonight. They're going to put their emotions into it. It's not about you. Watch a basketball game. Enjoy the game. Stop worrying so much about me. Um, I mean, a little bit. Uh -huh. sensitive considering you sort of brought it on yourself I will just say uh, is this Durant's chance to prove that he can win on his own and if you feel free to react if you'd like to that yeah I, I think we'll get into that later I'll answer your question first look his legacy as an all-time great is set now, so if they don't win it I won't kill them if they lose to Houston without Steph in the conference finals if they lose to LeBron and the Cavs in the finals without Steph I wouldn't kill him some might but I would not but what this is is an opportunity if Steph is out, and obviously we hope that's not the case, but if he's out, this is an opportunity for him to enhance his legacy. <laughs> if he leads this team to a title without Steph, and if they get to the finals, play LeBron in the Cavs, and he beats LeBron and outplays him in the clutch like he did last year. No Steph without Curry. Steph? Without Steph. Oh. Then he would, be, he would be regarded, I think, at that point as the best player in the world. Remember, on Christmas Day, they beat the Cavs without Steph, and he did outplay LeBron. So if he does that in the finals without Steph, then it enhances his legacy, and you start thinking of him potentially going higher in the all-time rankings. And Nick, who are the top five players in the NBA right now? Right now, LeBron, KD, Harden, Steph, and there's an argument about five. Giannis or the Brow or Kawhi or Russ. Westbrook. Yeah, I mean, okay. there's... Yeah. All those guys down there, Russ, there's major complaints about. Kawhi, we're complaining about him right now, and before that, potentially, yeah. was he injury? All right? right. The, the Brow... Has never it, won a playoff game. Yeah. Not a series, a game. Okay, Harden, is he ever going to play any defense? Can right. he play with anyone else? Right. Right. Steph, can he stay healthy? Is this sustainable? Right? Can he play without a superstar? KD. LeBron, LeBron I mean, gets killed. All, all of them. KD's, yep. KD, uh, uh, go ahead, CC. I'm I mean, sorry, I'll wait. 
I mean, all of them are criticized. All of them are critiqued. And all of them are the best players in the, in the world. Like, this is normal, KD. Like, you try to act like well, just because you went to Golden State? Like, no. It didn't. Are you getting criticized more? But let me tell you something. When you said you hit that shot last year and the torch was passed, well, then accept the torch then. There you go. I mean, if, you, if you're the best basketball player in the world, we should be writing about you. We should be talking about you. It's now, like the now, I'm, now, I'm not a writer, so I know he wasn't talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the type of pressure as an elite athlete that that's what you want. You want the conversation to be around he you. He doesn't know that. He can't tell what he wants. He, sometimes he wants it and sometimes he doesn't. Hold on. If we need to set the record straight on this for a moment. Because no, Kevin Durant, up until 18 months ago, was the least scrutinized NBA superstar of this era. Whenever things went wrong in, in Oklahoma City, it was blamed on Russ. On Russ. He was, people, uh, people adored him for his MVP speech as much as they did for his MVP season. He, his approval rating as a basketball player was higher than anyone's in the league. He was subjected to none of the can he win. Nobody blamed him for losing in five to the Miami Heat, even yep. though they had the better record. Yep. No one, we never criticized Katie. Nobody blamed ever. him when they fell, when they dropped the 3 1 lead. Everybody blames Russ. Everybody blames yeah. Russ. He then goes to Golden State, is subjected to some criticism, none of which about his play, just about his decision. The decision, I would think, is validated for him by the NBA Finals. Not just winning a championship, but winning it the way he did, as you put it, dominating in fourth quarters, averaging 35 points, hitting the shot that won the series in the best player in the world's eye. All that happened. What are you complaining about, bro? Why are you, to this day, live texting people on television, commenting to them about what they said about you? Why, why is that a part of your day-to-day? -day? Why are you creating these straw men also in this, in this podcast with Bill Simmons, who has become evidently KD's like personal uh, therapist Sound almost. He's gone on with him seven yeah. times. <laughs> why are you saying, man, I went to Taco Bell, and it ran through me like it'd be anybody else. I thought I was supposed to have some golden stomach. Nobody says that. Nobody is saying because you're one of the best basketball players in the world, you don't have day-to-day -day problems. What we are saying is you don't get to be the one superstar athlete in the world that people don't critique. And no one ever says, what's the biggest indictment on KD as a basketball player? That he's maybe the third best player alive? Like that maybe it's LeBron Harden him? I, I don't know right. And what I'm not in the camp about. either that... His legacy is based on what he does without Steph. I mean, if they're, if they're without Steph, they're without Steph. There's no different than LeBron when he was without Kyrie, when he was out low. I mean, you are not going to win in this league without super talented players or superstars. So for me, my evaluation would be, oh, man, why can't this guy lead him with Draymond and Clay? I won't ev ever evaluate him that way. Now, if they were able to get into the finals, I think that you have to analyze what the game is and what the matchup is. But, you know, KD right now, I mean, I don't think – that he realized how much people really love his play. The KD off the court, the KD with the social media, like that guy is not real, real attractive. It's, it's interesting because, as you said, in OKC, he was his approval rating was the best of all the star players. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I have talked to KD about this because I've said on the air, this is a different KD than what we saw in OKC. And yes. if he's, it doesn't look like the real KD, and that, that bothers me. KD has told me personally, no, this, what you see in Golden State, is the real KD. He says the guy that was in OKC that bit his tongue, that was mm -hmm. just didn't say anything, that was I too can nice. That. He said that's not me, and I'm fine with it. That was once the he fan told favorite. Me that, one, well, that's the okay. ironic thing, but once he told me, no, I'm being myself, I was cool with it. And if he wants to clap back at media, I'm not mad at that. If people go at him, he can go back at them. Just don't let it influence, infect, affect you on the court. As long as he can, he can talk this way all right. at once. And opinion. that's what we saw as this year. It affected him on the court. court with the personal fouls. With the because, technical with fouls. With the technical fouls, yes.
Like, Tech, Tech because, was, yeah. because that's not him. Yeah. Well, he, he said in, in OKC, he did have a lot of tease. Not the ejections. I just not as ahead. many. No, okay. the bigger irony is that the whole theme of what he said on the podcast was, "I wish people would just watch basketball." Well, we wish you would just play basketball. Well, and no, nah, we want him to talk. We I, want I him don't to mind talk. him but, talking. I, you know, my my problem it, it, it's I don't I don't mind when an athlete feels like they are held to an unfair standard that they are evaluated differently than anybody else. With KD, it seems like he wants to be held to a separate standard than every other superstar in this league. As Chris pointed out, all these guys get picked apart. LeBron is the most dissected athlete of all time that I'm aware of as far as where we're trying to pick, oh, can't, does he have this? Does he have that? Like, KD should recognize that. I just, the, the, the level of hate, could he handle level of hate Russ gets? Could he? Could he even handle the level of hate LeBron got? He could level it you get sometimes. It doesn't, it doesn't well, seem handle like it is, handle it is, what do you mean? If he gets it done on the court, he handled it last year. He went and got it done in the finals. Like I said, he can say what he wants as long Until as it doesn't Until we found out about the, the burner account. That wasn't good. No, now, that, I mean, wasn't, that was not good. That was not a good look. That didn't look like no type of MVP. <laughs> no, oh. But <laughs> if, if his main thing, if people don't like him, because you're right, that's the irony is that when he wasn't being himself, according to what he told me, everybody liked, he was, him. Everybody liked him. Now he's being himself, and a lot of people don't like him. I don't care as long as he gets it done on the court. He's then a great I'm fine player. With he's a all time player. All right, Chris, player. stick around. We'll see you a little bit later in the show. Still to come, find out who Le'Veon Bell is comparing himself to. Wait to hear what Eric Mangini thinks about who Le'Veon Bell is comparing himself to. Did you follow it all? It's next on First Things First.